such an art to layering and some influencers just do it so well. So joining us with looks inspired by fashion gurus and tips to take your layering to the next level is Raj Binder. <laughs> just, can we just give it up for... <laughs> for layering yes. it's getting to be a little chilly so it actually works we want to do it for fashion but we want to do it for the season and you're doing it beautifully and you say this is you this is me yeah. I feel like this is the first time I've been on the show and I wore what I would wear yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's so bang on so I'm happy you're giving us the lesson because um, we do need to rethink layering right so layering is not just about functionality yeah it is about your self-expression it is about being creative with our clothes and not doing a copy paste and doing just what everyone else is doing. Yeah. It's using what you already own, which you know is a big, big thing of mine. Yeah. We all have so many things in our closet. Everything is from my closet. Beautiful. The shoes are like a decade old. But you have things, wear them. Now yeah. we're just gonna try to reimagine different ways that we can put them together. Get creative. Okay, our first inspo is Jenna Lyons. So she is the inspo for this first number uh, that we're going to be seeing right now. Let's bring out our model, Lori, to show us. Very cool. Okay. Layer ring, 10 on 10. Love it. So Jenna Lyons is the ultimate style inspiration from like back in her J Crew days to even now. So yeah. I wanted to lend some of her styling tips on Lori, which she is wearing her outfit is from Roots. So we wanted to comfy and cozy yeah um, you know like she can be doing anything but we wanted it also to be refined yeah so to break up the double collar we put a denim shirt underneath pop that collar it's a turtleneck but you can still put a shirt underneath and just pop that collar right and a little bit here as well to break it up yeah and now the preppy thing is really big about throwing that sweater over your shoulders but Jenna has taught us to take it and sort of make it a little askew so we've yeah. just decided to off-center it it makes it look a little bit more elevated, more effortless. It's like art. Like, if I had to do this at home, it would probably just tie it like that. <laughs> Call it a day. Then you can put yours around your waist. That might be easier. Yeah, maybe that'd be easier for maybe me. Maybe we do that sometimes, but yeah. Very nicely the done with the, yeah, the, with the gorgeous bag. Super oh cute. my gosh, lovely. Lori, you're wearing it well. Thank you so much. Very nice. Okay, next up our inspo is Emily Sindlin. So let's see our model Kayla in a look that is all about that collar. Let's take a look. Ooh. Very nice. Kayla looking incredible with this look. We had a lot of fun with Kayla. So yes. Emily took inspiration right from the runways in Milan okay. from Prada, yep. which is what we've now decided to interpret for something that maybe is a little bit more realistic for us to wear. Right. She's Fair. wearing uh, everything from Reitman's. Nice. So we wanted the shirt to do the peekaboo collar right up here. Yeah. And to make things a little bit more interesting, a lot of people have the corset. So if you don't have a corset, you have a vest. Yes. Layer it over top of your base layer, which, you know, it should be like a fitted, like simple piece, the one that's going to get swept through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then keep your shirt open like this. Make sure there's a little bit of detailing like this pulled out. And then the thing is, and I just saw this this week. Yeah. You can do tights and socks. You can. You know, in case it's a rainy day and your socks get wet, you're covered. Yeah. But just to have more fun with it. It could have been a printed sock. We kind of wanted to keep so it all trippy cute. for this one. So you can just have fun, layer it on. Something doesn't work, take it off. You're too hot, you sweat, take it off, it's fine. That's right, yeah. so there is some functionality yeah. to it. And the corset we saw earlier in the show mm -hmm. as well, a, a great layering piece. You don't have to spend a lot of money on that piece, mm -hmm. but it's the way you style it. Kayla, it looks yeah, incredible. Looks Thank you on. so much. <laughs> That is so nice and unexpected. Okay, our next inspo, Karen Blanchard. So we've got our model Ivana showing us a look and how you can double up on some of uh, the pieces you have. Let's take a look at what Ivana's wearing. <laughs> yes. So many simple things we can do differently to have a different look, right? You can't really even tell where the layering happens to be, but yeah. Karen is a master at this. I love following her. She took two midi skirts, and I just copied and pasted in this case, Yeah. and we layered them on top of each other. That's so cool. They can even be the same size. Actually, I sized up on the beige one just so it would sit a little bit lower on her hip, Right. so we get that peak from the bottom. Nice. You can have fun with metallics, with color, with texture, whatever it is that you wanted to do. We wanted to keep the top um, so it 
sort of mimics the bottom. Mm -hmm. And this is from H&M. And then we wanted to have fun with the accessories. Denim is really big, but why not throw them in your boots and your bag from Aldo as well. But think of layering things that you normally wouldn't. That's and right. We're layering two skirts. Two skirts, one why on top not? of the other. And yeah. it's like major, major impact there. Thanks, Ivana. Very Thank nice. <laughs> Lovely. All right, let's talk about influencer Rosme Kaur. We're seeing dresses over pants making a comeback. And you are doing it in I'm such a beautiful so way. Uh, talk to me about your look. Uh, so I took inspiration and I think I'm seeing a lot of Y2K stuff for the, pa the dress over the pants, which is not my thing. Right. I wanted something a little bit more sophisticated. Yes. So I wanted to start with the pants that I love, which are my leather pants. Yeah. And this dress, it's just a simple tunic style dress, which I think goes with everything. Yeah. And then wanted to just be me. So I could have done a, a sweater or a cable knit but I kind of wanted to just do something a little bit oversized. Playing with texture, keeping it monochrome. Yeah, you yeah. is the best you ever. Thank Absolutely. you 